Hello everyone, and welcome to the Schneider Electric Altavar EZ610 Drives e-learning platform. This section will cover the installation and wiring process of Altavar EZ610 drives. The compact ATV610 is easily installed in the cabinet. We can derive drive dimensions such as length, width, and height from the model reference. For the reference ATV610D18N4, the corresponding dimensions are S3, 195mm wide, 485mm high, and 228mm deep. The following is an introduction to Schneider Electric's recommended standard wiring method, which can greatly enhance electromagnetic compatibility. First, it is recommended to separate the power cable from equipment control signal circuits such as detectors, PLCs, measuring instruments, video apparatuses, and phones. When possible, intersect control and power cables at a 90 degree angle. Power supply and circuit protection. Please follow local regulations and standards for recommended cable size. Before connecting power terminal, Please first connect grounding terminal to grounding screw under the output terminal. Drives must be grounded according to corresponding safety standards. Control circuit. For control circuits, we suggest using shielded twisted pairs 25 to 50 millimeters in size. Please be sure to ground the shielding layer. Equipment grounding. Drives must be grounded according to local and national regulations. The cable size must reach a minimum of 10 square millimeters to meet limiting standards for leakage current. When multiple drives are grounded, each must be grounded directly. Please ensure that grounding wires do not form a loop or connect in a series. Having learned the standard wiring method for out of our Easy 610 series drives, let's continue with the wiring process. Drive Output Side Wiring First, connect motor grounding wire to grounding terminal at the bottom of the drive. Take off grounding terminal screws at the bottom of the drive. Then connect the motor grounding wire to the grounding terminal. Next, connect the three-phase motor power cables to terminals U, V, and W on the output side of the drive. Drive input side wiring. First, connect the main circuit grounding wire to the grounding terminal at the bottom of the drive. Then, connect the main three-phase power cables to terminals R, S, and T on the input side of the drive. Drive output and input wiring is now complete. Drive control circuit wiring. First, connect the P24DI1 digital input terminal. Then connect the 10V AI1 COM analog input terminal. Then connect the R1A, R1B, R1C relay output terminal. Then connect the COM A01 analog output terminal. Out of our Easy 610 drive control circuit terminals are identified by color to effectively prevent incorrect wiring. 
insert the Modbus communication cable into the Modbus communication interface. Lastly, close the drive front cover and tighten screws to complete the terminal assembly process. Introduction to Wiring Schemes With application macros for 90% of standard fan and pump applications, ATV610 requires no additional parameter modification. The control circuit has matching recommended wiring modes for each application macro. The following are the seven recommended application wiring modes. 1. Start-Stop Mode Used for basic start and stop motor control. This is a two-wire control mode. 2. Manual Auto Mode Used for local or remote signal drive control. DI signal is used for toggling. 3. PID Control Mode Used for closed-loop control systems such as flow, pressure, and temperature control. 4. Preset Speed Mode used with four preset speeds controlled via a DI terminal. 5. Modbus communication mode used for basic communication control. It may be toggled between remote and terminal control. 6. Pump 1 mode used in a multi-pump. The lead pump is fixed with inverter. Other pumps are connected to the main. 7. Pump 2 mode the lead pump alternates between multi-pumps to soft-start each pump.